and he uh, he said, call 911. My brother's bleeding in the driveway. Make sure the police come and f find my mom. This neighbor, who didn't want to be identified, said he was the one who called police after a man knocked on his door yesterday afternoon and nearly collapsed into his arms. He didn't appear to be injured, but he was really in shock. His voice was raspy, and uh, I could hardly hear him. He rushed to his neighbor's house across the street, but it was too late. Police say the two men and a woman killed here were believed to be injured by crossbow bolts. By the time I went back, there was too much blood. I, I didn't want to take a chance on doing more damage. 35-year-old Brett Ryan now faces three charges of first-degree murder. A publication ban prohibits us from releasing the victims' names, and police haven't specified the relationship between the three victims and the accused. But neighbors tell City News they believe the victims are the accused family members. Police say a fourth person was also treated in hospital. This isn't the first time Brett Ryan has been in trouble with the law. In 2008, he was charged in relation to multiple bank robberies in Toronto and Durham. He was dubbed the fake beard bandit and sentenced to three years in jail. The murder scene in Scarborough was also linked to another police investigation yesterday afternoon. Police responded to reports of a suspicious package at a Queen's Key apartment building. Court documents show the address is the same as where Brett Ryan lived. Social media accounts also reveal Ryan was engaged to be married next month. It's, it's sad, like, uh, I don't really know what to say. It's terrible because I know, like, a few years ago she lost her husband and it was hard on her. Neighbors say Susan lived here with two of her four adult sons. She was often seen gardening outside and this neighbor says she'd made plans with his wife for today. Yesterday they were supposed to go to the CNE, but Susan had a fever, so they canceled and they booked today for 1030 to go shopping. Those who live in this quiet Scarborough Street say they don't know what could have led to this horrific incident that has left a family devastated. We are uh, sharing their grief in this moment and um, we are all very sorry about what happened to them. It's uh, totally unexpected. What can you say? Nothing, nothing will comfort them. It's just sad. Yes, it is.